And so a bit of an unproductive day today. Thought to myself, ah. I was getting 26.2 volts with 22 amps, and I thought, well, if I take some, if I take some cable off, uh, shorten the shorten the length in between the workshop and the um and the inverter, I might get, I might pick up a little bit. Well, I picked up 0.2 of a volt. It's 0.2, but I'll take it. Now, the moral of this story is. Um, apparently there's a fire truck with my son because that burnt up. Cheap eBay torchy thing. I thought, you know, it's enough to do some some brazing with it, and you know, I thought, well, a couple of bucks worth a try. Had a heap of these cans around because the other one got the unit itself got recalled. So I thought I'll try that. So I chopped off just on six meters of um. Where's the lens? There we go. Six millimeter square stuff, and it's made almost no difference whatsoever. Um, and the shed roof caught on fire, and this tin caught on fire, and there was women running everywhere with hoses. <laughs> um, I must admit, my ten-year-old was on the shed roof with me, helping me out as they do, and he handled it very well. He um, safely got off the off the roof and away from the fire, and I followed suit, and luckily that didn't go, which I think. Well, look at that. Oh, that's water. No, that's not blowing off. Um, although it got very, very hot, um, the water was on it within a minute or so. So, um, and it was actually leaking at the top, so it was venting constantly. So, this is black stuff is mainly just from the from the fire itself. But I reckon that's going to go back to my eBay seller with a. Don't sell me any more of them. <laughs> The ironic thing is, my wife said, well, why don't you go and buy a good one? And I didn't. But, you know, hindsight's a bitch. Nobody got hurt, and I finished up the cables all right. I just crimped them all up. Now, <clears throat> troubleshooting. Anybody know? I open that up. Now, I micromanage this because I only run it at night time, as some of you may or may not know. Um, now... I turn this off during the day or I, I, at night time I have it set to like that I've been playing with it so that's how I have it set at night time now um, I know you can go over here and go uh, uh, utility so it doesn't use it during the day it doesn't use the batteries during the day or the solar for that matter sorry about the shaky video but that's what you get um, and then back to SBU at night time However, when I click it back to SBU and I change that return to voltage back to 24 volts, uh, no, sorry, uh, 27 volts at night time. Um, and if the actual up here it's 26.54, so I, I drop that below, so I'll drop it, say, to 24 volts and hit apply. Now that should turn it on that should go from line mode to battery mode. However, it doesn't. Uh, most nights, um, in the, well, last, well, let's just say last two nights, I've left with those settings, which are the correct settings to go back onto grid. Ah, oh, sorry, onto batteries, and it just hasn't done it. It just won't do it. I've ended up having to, I've shut the computer down, um, I've shut the program down, obviously. Uh, rebooted it and tried every setting under this the sun and then half an hour 45 minutes later all of a sudden it clicks back over to line mode and I can hear the inverter click so it is coming over um, and the battery discharges at zero until that time so I don't know why it does that I don't know if anybody else is experiencing it whether it's a glitch with my system now I've used Windows XP Windows Vista Windows 7 32 and 64 Windows 8, 32 and 64, and Windows 10, 32 and 64 bits. Just because I'm a computer tech and I thought, oh, I'm going to throw it on every operating system and see which one works the best. Now that said, I've tried it on, I've tried it on all those operating systems on three separate computers, on my workshop computer, which is there. Um, well, pretend my laptop's sitting there, but my laptop's not there, it's inside the house. And then I had another computer sitting behind there that I just took out and... Anyway, it's in here somewhere. 
and they all do they all do the same thing so that's not that that's causing it um, it must be the software and or I'm impatient but I don't think I should have to wait 15 minutes now that said sometimes it clicks over immediately there has been in the past it clicks over immediately but it just doesn't do it anymore I don't know why um, as I've told you all before clicking on this one to get that to work you have to open it in um, um, in administrative mode to get that device ID there and, and then that works and that populates so I got around that uh, I'll make I will make a video on how I got that to work every single time especially a boot up this one here on other on other hand event log can't get the device ID to populate can't get anything up in there um, I tried a heap a bunch of settings maybe I haven't tried the right one you know it's always the last one you try that works and of course you know I mustn't have tried the last one yet but if anybody can shed some light on how to get that bit working or just let me know whether yours is working or not um, yeah that would be great because that's really annoying me I pride myself on being able to get everything I put my, my mind to but that one's beaten me and there's not a lot of videos and there's not a lot of um, chat rooms and stuff like that like there used to be with this sort of stuff everyone used to talk about it but now it's all YouTube videos so I'm on that bandwagon I'm here help <laughs> so that's how that is um, so that, that that ends my Sunday rant um, enjoy my last video I looked I um I uploaded there of Duke Hearts um, I just ripped all his off the net now he's a mate he's down the road he is it has given me permission to do that um, he will be writing in the comments hopefully hopefully Duke can you write in the comments to say it's okay mate um, yeah so that's just I'm impressed with that system it's freaking awesome I go down there, I'm like, dude, can I take some videos? God, can I just take a photo? It's just, it's well done, man. It's just, congratulations, Duke, man. It's well done. It really is. <sighs> I wish I had that much money for batteries. Anyway, <laughs> that's another video. Um, and, yeah, on that note, if anybody knows of any second-hand batteries laying around out there that I could use and I could buy cheap, let me know because I'm keen on some more because that battery voltage doesn't hold up very long at night time. I'm only getting... Um, about five and a half kilowatt hours out of it until it gets to 22 volts um, now the batteries are eight to ten year old and they were out of a, a, a commercial scrubber um, like one of those um, battery operated shopping center ones so they've been cycled and quite possibly poorly every day for five or ten years or whatever however old they are so they're at the end of their life so that's why I don't mind fogging the ass out of them but if anybody's got some second-hand batteries out there on a 24 bank 24 bank uh, 24 volt bank and if I can get a thousand amp hours I'd be happy um, truck forklift I don't care as long as you're sort of within I don't know 500 600 kilometers from Brisbane we're more than happy to come out and um, and pick them up if you know the price has got to be right obviously I'm buying second-hand batteries but I was lucky all these ones got given to me so I can't complain and I won't complain and um, Pete the battery man you're a god <laughs> He hasn't got any more, by the way. Anyway, I'll wrap this one up and um, like, rate, and subscribe because apparently it gets me an extra four cents a year. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm out. Thank you.